Quran, according to Muslims, is not created by Allah, and it is eternal. Notice, Quran is not created. Quran is eternal. Even Muhammad, he claimed that the Quran will come in the judgment day as a man, a fade man, like a, like a, a man who is dying. Like a ghost. It's scary. The Quran is the word of Allah, may be exalted, and he it and it and is not created. So the Quran is not created, the Quran is eternal, internal, and, uh, the, and the Quran and Allah both they share the same thing. They are not created according to Muslims, and they are inter like, eternal. Okay, so so now we have to God. See, I, I went with you. You said to me, Allah is you know eternal, Quran is eternal. Nowhere it says that in the front of you. Here we go. I'm showing you. This is your Islamic scholars. And this is what the Muslim believe. If you don't believe in that, you are not a Muslim. You can ask anyone. Actually, the punishment to believe that the Quran is a created is death. And you are apostate. If the second you say that, you can go and read Islamic books about it. How many people get killed just because they thought the Quran was a created? One of the caliphate, he slaughtered a big sheikh. For he did claim that the Quran is a created. In the day of sacrifice, the caliphate, he says, today I'm not going to sacrifice for you a goat or a camel. I will sacrifice this. And he got the man tied up with his hands and he slaughtered him like a sheep. Just for one reason, he's a Muslim. He's a big sheikh. Just because he said the Quran is a created. So when you say to me, nowhere does the Quran say that uh, uh, Quran is uncreated, that's because if you're ignorant, because how the Muslim they come to the conclusion that the Quran is not created unless it says there somewhere that the Quran is not created. Let us read the answer and you will see that they give you an answer. You see? <clears throat> when the scholars hear, they say to you, why the Quran is not created? They are giving you the reason according to Islam. They are not giving you reason according to the Christian books. This is the question you see you asking me why because it's front of you or did you read the page read the page they have a long here we go this is a fatwa long in the front of you that the quran and the muslim sunni you know the quran is the created and the muslim sunni they don't agree with anyone he say the quran is created the second you say the quran is created you are not a muslim <clears throat> So now we have what 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 is Allah? No answer. They didn't know. Not a single one of them he knew what he is worshiping. The Arab before Islam they used to worship Allah. You know, when the Muslim they say to you, the pagan Arab, do you know that the pagan Arab they worship Allah? Actually, he is their biggest God and Akbar. Akbar is God, Allah is, uh, is God. Anyone? Anyone? Any Muslim? They didn't know. And look now, by saying that the Quran is not created, now we have two divine, two eternal. One, his name is Allah. The other one, his name is Quran.
And here you see uh, uh, MoMA asking a question, which I find it a good question. Let us put it on the screen. <laughs> Oh, we lost the question. Hold on. For some reason, where is the question of MoMA? All right. So MoMA said, if the Quran is any created, why it need abrogating? Hmm. How Allah abrogate the any created Quran you see the whole idea of any created is very weird because when Muhammad he made when, when Allah he made the verse that any about when, the wife of Muhammad they are fighting with Muhammad and Allah he sent the verse for him saying that if they don't stop fighting with you you can exchange them or divorce them or Allah will replace them for you, exchange them with better women. And if they don't repent, Allah and the angels and etc., they are going to support you. Okay, hold on. So if the Quran was exist since ever, that's mean the story of Aisha and Hafsa fighting with Muhammad is written in the Quran before all mankind and all the earth is created. Correct? So what does that mean? Allah, he wrote billions of years ago that Muhammad will fight with Aisha and Aisha will say to him this and Muhammad will say that to her and I will say this to Muhammad. What a funny scenario. And then he put it in a tablet. Hmm. So Allah, he have the abrogated Quran or all the Quran. He should have all the Quran. So how you abrogate the Quran from the whole Quran? Do we have any Muslim? <laughs> and then, you know, if you go in the Quran more, and the more you start reading, you will find that the Quran, the idea of this Quran, or what the Muslim claim and created, is very silly. Because if you read this verse here, Uh, let us see the verse <clears throat> I find this verse is one of the most funny uh, statement Muhammad he came with actually oh, no, let's go to the verse directly Read and love. Remember the Quran is not a created, right? Okay. None of our revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. How you can cause to be forgotten what is any created and it is divine or it is eternal? And then he say, we are going to bring something better or similar. Look, how it is any created, and now Allah will bring something similar or better. Any Muslim? You see, uh, forget about the Muslim, about the human are limited. 
Allah is saying he will bring better Quran than the Quran. But if the Quran is any changeable, untouchable, and even not created by Allah, how Allah will make Quran if he did not if he is not making Quran? If he is not creating Quran, how will make Quran better than the Quran? And how the Quran can be better than the Quran? Isn't it, isn't it Muslim they say there's nobody can make Quran and now Allah will make Quran better than the Quran? So why Allah, he went to school, he took a class in Arabic and now he is improving himself so he will write a better Quran? And then look what he said, I will bring you something better or similar. Look, so why you will make me forget it if it's similar? Similar? What is the point of this drama? Obviously, there's no Allah. There's no way God He would say such a silly thing. If I, if I, if I cause you to forget my words, why Allah wanna cause me to forget the word anyway? It doesn't make sense. I thought the Muslim they say the Quran preserved, but we find the Quran itself saying no. Allah will cause you to forget the Quran. You see, somebody says that like Muslim says uh, uh, he called himself Kar. He said because a human they forget. My friend, it's Allah causing you to forget. It's not you. So why Allah want to send you a book and then he want to cause you to forget the part or all the book? That is silly, silly. Like you ask the Muslims, where is the verse of stoning to death? They say to you, we know it, but it's not in the book. They say, okay, so why? He said it's abrogated in writing, but not in practice. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are going to practice it, shouldn't you have it? Is it better to have it in written? How you practice something is not there. They say, no, we memorize it, but you just say it's not there. <laughs> right? Madness. I mean, either it is there or it's not there. Is it or it's not? They have tons of verses. The Muslim they say either is abrogated by recitation. Mm -hmm. Why well, you are abrogated? By... So it's not in the Quran no more, but we have to practice it. How? Why somebody he need the law? He need to practice the law, and then he take it off from the book. 